So your PlayStation 5 gaming disc isn't being recognized by your PS5 and it's just not starting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now, the first thing you want to do, of course, is take your game out of your console. Second step, I'm going to want you to clean your disc just in case there's any prints or scuffs on it to see if that helps by reinserting it and trying again. Now, if it doesn't work at this point either, your disc maybe is just destroyed. If you have huge scratches on it, of course, it's not going to work. Or we need to do a couple of other steps. So what we're first going to be doing is rebuilding the database on the PS5. So what you want to do is turn off your PS5. And at this point, we're going to want to press and hold the power button on the PS5 until we get two beeps. This is going to put us into safe mode. And from here, we're going to go through the menu and select rebuild database. Rebuilding the database, it says it takes a couple hours, but it really only takes a couple of minutes, at least in my experience. And once it's done that, you can restart your PS5 and try it again, see if the game works. Now, if it doesn't work at this point, what we're gonna wanna do is just leave your disc in your PS5, and we're actually going to go to settings in the top right corner. From here, we're gonna scroll on downwards towards system, and we're gonna wanna update our system software. So system software update and update system software. Now, if you try and update it and you already have the latest version, it's not gonna work. If you can update your system, you can do it this way. The last, well, another thing you can actually do, it's not the last thing, is go to your actual game. Let's say it were Call of Duty. I don't even think they sell this for this, but if they did, check for an update and see if you can update it. Now, if at this point, your game still isn't working, again, Either it's too scuffed, maybe there's huge scratches on it, it's not going to work, or you might be having a disk error. So the actual thing inside your PS5 that reads the disk might be broken, which in that case, you're probably going to have to send it for repairs. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.